the razor sharp melodies and wit of Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street, make this murderous musical about revenge and cannibalism mm. come to life at the Pioneer Theater Company at the U. The Tony Award winning musical features cast members with ties here in Utah. And as ABC 4's Andrew Reeser shows us, one of the show's stars isn't letting a disability stop him from pursuing his dream. From now on, you can wake and at ease. Night after night, Blake Stadnick plays street urchin Tobias Rag in the musical thriller Sweeney Todd. And night after night, he refuses to let a disability get in the way of a great performance. When I was six years old, I was diagnosed with Stargardt's disease, which means I have very, very little center vision and my peripheral vision is not much better. I definitely rely on color a lot. Stadnick, an equity actor out of New York City, is visually impaired. And I'm like, I really hope they're where they need to be or they can see me because I can't see where they are right. at all. His message, just by being on stage, is as bold as the show itself. That message speaks volumes to anyone who thinks they're limited. But I remember my mom coming to me. She never wanted me to use this as an excuse, and she never wanted it to stop me from pursuing my dreams. The musical by Stephen Sondheim centers around Sweeney Todd, a diabolical barber who, spoiler alert, murders some of his clients. <laughs> The show also features Delaney Westfall, who plays Sweeney's daughter, Joanna. The Utah native, who played the same role off-Broadway, says performing in her home state is a breath of fresh air. New York is not like the city for me, and so I've been needing a break for a little bit. It just feels like home. Performing this show is a dream come true for Stadnick, who advocates for disabled actors and says, if you can dream it, no disability can stop you from doing it. There doesn't need to be any quote unquote limitations for us. Um, we are very capable of creating great art. In Salt Lake City, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News.